All right, so to embark on our Oreo adventure, we are um, going to be using once again as our guide phone the U Jalebi. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right now. I've been uh, corrected a couple times, and uh, and I'm always glad to learn new things. Uh, I'll have to try that sometime. Apparently, the uh, Jalebi is a very good dessert that you can get in India, and uh, I've never been to India but uh, that sounds very tasty and I look forward to trying that someday if I'm able. But uh, so um, we have the the Life XL. I've actually gone through and made the changes and we're going to look at what some of those changes are uh, in, a, in a moment here. But the uh, the guide phone that I'm using, the uh, Jalebi, has the same system on a chip, a uh, slightly different screen but a lot of the same internals, which is why we've been using it as our guide phone all along. Uh, other than we were originally using the uh, Wiko uh, Ridge 4G, I think it was called, uh, as well, um, during the early builds for uh, Lollipop and the first build of Marshmallow, and then we switched over to the Jalebi. But, uh, so, one of the great things is when you do have a guide phone to work with, uh, and there's always there's always some kind of a guide phone. Like a lot of people ask me, well, what if there's no guide phone? There's there's always some phone out there that has the same system on a chip as yours. Uh, it's almost impossible unless you're doing some very cutting edge stuff to find one that isn't at least somewhat similar to yours. And uh, and so so we've been borrowing from this uh, Jalebi a lot. But one of the big things that has changed, you know, when we're going from being in uh, Nugget and Down and going to Oreo and Up is, of course, they switched uh, the whole way the hardware extraction layer works. And I actually want to uh, take a look at that in a moment. But uh, before we look at how um, Heidel has kind of changed the way we do things in, in comparison with Hal, I wanted to point out what some of these might look like. And so you see in here you have these strange product packages that all of a sudden are these at symbol, a number, and then IMPL. And these are different, uh, you know, um, layers that allow the... Um, Android operating system to interface with the underlying hardware, which before you would build specific packages, maybe a specific package for your camera for this device, which you might still need as well. Uh, you notice like the uh, the GPS here is very specific for the MSM 8916, but notice this lights, it used to be the MSM 8916 lights, is now we can use this light uh, 2.0 service package that's part of Android and so just to take a closer look at how that works we see we've got um, you know these interfaces and architecture uh, that now works slightly different using um, you know we have the hardware extraction layer but we now have this how interface definition language Heidel uh, that kind of defines how those work and I'm not going to profess to be an expert on this nor can I explain everything about how this works but uh, you know you have you have uh, you know the how layer which is where we're used to putting all of our packages that did the work of translating between the software and the hardware to say hey he clicked the button to make a phone call and now we actually need to make a phone call so the hardware abstraction layer is actually going to say hey phone physical phone make a phone call for me and uh, and make that happen and now you have this uh, HAL interface definition language Heidel that helps uh, support that with all these services and it has all these services that do that um, kind of for you and uh, so here it says you can read more about this but you can see that you have system services system services are modular focus components such as windows manager search service notification they do all these services and then they interface with the hardware abstraction layer uh, which now is um, going to be go through this definition language of Heidel HAL interface definition 
language. And, uh, and notice that it's a re-architecture of the Android OS framework in a project known as Treble to make it easier, faster, and less costly for manufacturers to update devices to newer versions of Android. So that's all fine and dandy. The problem is we have an old phone that was pre-Android 8.0 that is not on this new architecture, and we've got to kind of bring it up to speed. Now notice that we're going to bring it up to speed so it can understand Hido, so it can work with Hido, but it is not going to be Treble compliant. To be Treble compliant is actually something completely separate. So that's why we see packages like this, this implementation package for the camera device, and it is actually allowing Heidel, this special language, to handle the HAL interface. And so you see these in here as well. Now, um, we've looked at how we can do upgrades in the past. We've looked at, you know, uh, going over a device that's similar and either building it from scratch based on that or we've looked at uh, looking at the end result of a device that's changed and uh, we've looked at uh, just pulling the commits using uh, git to do a lot of the work for us and then we just do the edits manually uh, that need to be done to fix that and so a lot of really great ways so you can go about doing the upgrades I, I think you guys get the point of how you do the upgrade um, but the the key thing to remember is is you've got to you got to get that information from somewhere. So you off, you either have to be exceptionally good at reading, uh, you know, techno geek speak like this, and then um, building what you need to build, or you need to look at another device that's been there and look at it as an example, so you know what to change in yours. Once again, the Jalebi is uh, a the same system on a chip and a very similar phone, slightly different screen, different cameras, uh, but uh, works a lot the same, so it's going to be a good one for us to borrow from. So I've got all this uh, this uh, punched in here, the device make file, the, um, let's see, the board config file would be the big uh, changes. Um, that we'd see and mostly like the board config that we see here the big changes was actually moving a lot of information to the common uh, the MSM 8916 common uh, folder and that's because just a lot of the things they realized hey these phones are all the same and this part is the same in every phone that has this chip so let's put it all into the common folder so anytime you can find a, a system on a chip that's common to yours that's a really really great place to start looking at information and looking at how you can utilize that because then you don't have to upgrade that part you just have to borrow that part tag it and you upgrade just your smaller device tree which is really really helpful um, so we're gonna give this a build and see uh, what we can uh, what we can get here um, and uh, let me just uh, open up a whole new terminal to make sure I didn't have any uh, any leftovers from you know maybe trying to build something else make sure we have a clean slate to start with uh, we can see uh, you know we're gonna build Oreo I've already uh, got I built the uh, U Jalebi and so that gave us you know downloaded the kernel for us that downloaded uh, the extra device trees that we need which is really really handy and it's also a really great idea if you're borrowing from another phone build it and make sure that it actually builds because sometimes uh, you know it doesn't and that would then lead you down a really bad path because you're sitting there trying to beat your head against the wall why your build doesn't work when actually the thing that you borrowed from doesn't work at all either so let's uh, Brunch, uh, lineage, uh, life, XL, eng. Let's give this a build and see uh, see what we get. Of course, if we run into any uh, any good errors, we'll definitely have to stop and check those out. Notice I am building on my good old 1404 trusty. Yep, once again, went back to the old 1404. I do have, uh, you know, uh, 18... Uh, uh, machine, but uh, I just 
I really like the old 1404, and uh, it gets the job done. It really does, and so definitely worth uh, worth using if you're considering what to do. Notice that I'm using this inside of a virtual box, so like some people say, well, it doesn't support my new hardware. Well, that's fine because you can just run a virtual machine, and so it doesn't matter what hardware it supports or not. You can do this from a Windows box using a virtual machine or uh, from a uh, another Linux box still using a virtual machine or just straight installed uh, on your system. So hopefully we'll see uh, see something good to uh, look at and, uh, and chew on as we go along. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll see, uh, see if anything uh, crops up.